Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we will be looking at a speed paint of a drawing I did a little while ago. Um, it's of Kirishima from My Hair Academia. Uh, this was just me kind of still getting used to my art pad. Um, I was kind of an anatomy study, but also just kind of me getting a little bit more used to backgrounds and inanimate objects because I usually do just portraits and stuff, but, um, and this one has a few other elements to it, uh, and it was just practice and coloring and stuff. Uh, I'm pretty proud of it still. Um, I would make it a little bit more realistic now, uh, but uh, for where I was at the time, I think it's uh, pretty, pretty good. But um, anyways, yeah, we will just get right into that. Alright, so this is the drawing we will be looking at today. As I said, it's a Kirishima piece from My Hair Academia. Um, and as I said before, I would do it a bit differently um, today, but from where I was at the time, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you will see when we look at the time lapse that I actually kind of used a picture um, as the base of this, just because I just, you know, sometimes it's just too much to come up with a full body position and make it accurate and grab a bunch of references, especially when I'm focusing on color and just learning how to do the things that I need to do. Um, so you will see that I actually have pictures as the base for this. I'm happy with how the chain is. I had never drawn a chain before this, so um, that was that was fun. <laughs> and. Um, when we look at the time lapse, you'll actually see that I, I changed a bit about uh, the base picture. I made something smaller, uh, his face is a bit different, and uh, his pants are sitting a little bit lower on his hips than in the picture. I also just added tattoos and piercings just to make it a little bit more interesting because, you know, just some visual, <laughs> visual stuff. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So this is the picture I started with. As you can see, it's a bit different from the final product. Um, this is me, uh, you know, just kind of outlining and I really needed help with the chain because again, as I said, I had never drawn a chain before. And you know, the best way to learn how to draw something if you've never drawn it before is to trace it to find out how it works. Um, you'll see that I made his like back shoulder muscles, I don't know what they're called, but um, <laughs> those a little smaller and uh, I just grabbed some generic a tattoo picture from the internet. Um, just, you know, as I said, to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, I don't know if Kirishima would actually have this kind of tattoo, but I just thought. And I don't know if you noticed, but I actually had a barbed wire tattoo um, picked out, but I, didn't, I couldn't find a nice place to put it, so I just got rid of it. And then I think he would be the kind of guy to have flowers tattooed. I don't know. I just... I just liked the idea of this big, strong guy having a butterfly and flower on his arm. Um, but anyways, this is me putting in the base colors, just, you know, um, outlining and stuff. And now I'm putting in the rounded shading. <laughs> I still don't know what to call it. That has not, that has not changed. Um, just to show where there's, you know, depth. Um, and I didn't like it, so I scrapped it and started again. <laughs> That happens a lot, actually. Um, I will I will be working on something, and then I will not like it, and I'll just completely restart. And, uh, you know, a lot of the time I'm actually very happy to restart, because if I don't like it in its, like, building phase, I'm not going to like it in the final product. So, <laughs> I, I actually, uh, if, if I'm really hating something, scrapping it is usually the best call. This is me just blending out more, more depth and, and such, just showing where everything is so when I get rid of the line art it will look okay. Um, so I actually made the mistake of um, not uh, blending underneath the tattoo and uh, I ended up uh, kind of getting rid of all that because I, when I removed the tattoo it was just, it looked so messy and I don't know if it really mattered because it is underneath the tattoo but I just, I don't know, I just really wanted to fix that. So I got rid of it. I retraced the tattoo on his arm to like make it darker black. And this is me doing the shading for a third time, 
without the tattoo so I can actually like do it and then I'll just add that tattoo on top. That was me checking to see where, you know, things were in the reference photo. So quick that <laughs> you probably just saw a flash. Um, yeah, and this is just, you know, blending it out, making sure that once I get rid of the line art, you could still see where all the muscles are and where everything is because you, I don't have the help of line art, so I need to make sure that I use my colors <laughs> to show where everything is. Um, just making it a little bit sharper and darker. I personally see Kirishima as a pretty toned and tan, tan guy. Um, so I always draw him a little bit on the more tan side. But that's just me personally. Um, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but I just like to do it a little bit more. This is me doing the darker shadows, just to add, add a little more depth to everything blending it out. Uh, this kind of stuff doesn't need too much blending, so I kind of really only just like rough up the edges a little just because of the nature of the shadow. Um, I don't really need to blend it all that much. That's just, you know, how the shadow works, or at least how I think it works. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, we're just, just doing little minor fixes. You probably can't see it, but I'm blending around the hand right now. These are the drop shadows, basically anything that is off of the skin that is, you know, leaving a shadow. Like if you hold your hand over a table, the shadow on the table, that's a drop shadow. Um, this was a little hard to figure out because, you know, I had the chains and, you know, I didn't know exactly what to, where to put these shadows. Uh, highlights. Personally, I would change how I did these highlights now. Um, I think I made it look like he's too shiny. <laughs> um, which, in this particular piece, it turned out okay. Because, you know, he's working out, so he's a little sweaty. So he probably would be a little shiny. But personally, um, I would probably make him less shiny if I redid this piece. This is me doing his hair. I am still so proud of how I did his hair. I think I could have done the highlight a little better because I didn't really do it in a way that made sense. I just kind of added color, um, which you know, it some th that sometimes works, but not not all the time. Um, it looks fine, but now that I'm a little bit better and looking back, I can kind of see that mm, probably should have done it differently. This is me like trying four or five different ways to add this bright part to his um, to his hair and then you know since he's older this is like an older pro hero Kirishima I decided to let his roots be grown out a little and I don't know but if you notice but his hair is also much longer as well um, but yeah I wanted to get his roots a little in there just because I just feel like that's just such a nice look um, this is me trying to get his hair to cooperate um, this is, I call it feathering the ends. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but that's what I call it. And um, just, you know, doing little, little this and that. And it's behind his head, or behind his body. So, um, and this is me adding the line art in again, just to make sure I have everything. And um, I feathered the ends on his bangs. So, and I really like how I didn't show his eyes in this. I think it really made it. Um, and then this is me doing the shorts. I don't know exactly why I decided to make his shorts red, but I really am happy with that decision. <laughs> I feel like it, it just it makes the whole piece a little bit coherent, like the color palette is really nice. So um, just texturing and shading his shorts. Um, at the time I didn't really understand how fabric works. I still don't really, to be completely honest. So I would also do this part maybe a little differently, but I'm happy with how I managed to do it, like even though I didn't quite understand how fabric works and how it lays on the body, I still, you know, I shaded it pretty well. Um, even if it wasn't in the right shape, <laughs> uh, it was still, you know, still did a good job. This is me getting rid of the line art and just cleaning up the edges, like especially on his, um, well, our right and his left shoulder, it's like, you know, there's like chunks out of it, so I have to clean up the edges. This is before I, um, I colored to the line art. I do it a little differently now. Um, so this is before I changed my, my method 
and it made a lot of extra work for me when I did it this way because uh, once I was done with the piece I would have to go back and like redo it and it just was like not <laughs> it was it was not not it but um now I do it where there's not quite as much work for me. It's really, really hard to tell, but I'm actually doing the lips right now and just kind of texturing and shading those. Um, this is a very hard perspective to do, so um, I didn't really understand the lips and I think I would do them a little bit differently now, but it's okay, here we are. This is me adding in the setting. <laughs> this is me filming a lot of TikToks. Um, as you can see, <laughs> and adding the background. And here's the finished product. Um, I would probably make the shadows a little bit um, rougher around the edges because sh these are like really hard light shadows. Um, and it looks fine because that's how all the shadows are, so it doesn't kind of throw anything off. But, you know, shadows very rarely have like that distinct of an outline. So I think I would probably go back and rough those up a little. Um, I would definitely use more colors to, to texture his skin to make him pop a little more. But I'm still really happy with the hair and this was a very hard head position. So I am proud with how I did that. And yeah, so here's the final product fully rendered. Um, again, I'm pretty proud of it for where I was at the time. I would probably do it differently now, but I know I say that every time. Uh, even when I've done an art piece like yesterday, if I look at it again, I can still see things that I should have done differently. But that's just how I am. But yeah, that is today's um, video. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm happy with this piece. It is up on my Instagram and TikTok if you want to like look at it more. <laughs> I know we just went over it a lot, but if you are interested in looking at it or saving it or sharing it, it's on my social medias, which are in the link tree in my bio. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically the video today. Um, next time I post, it will be more Omno highlights. Um, as I said in the previous video, I actually finished Omno uh, on my Twitch channel. So if you want to see you know how how that ended um, it's still on there it's approaching the uh, limit for how long it's gonna be on my twitch channel when you when you go live and uh, you can save replays but they only are on your channel for about 14 days so um, it's still on there so if you want to watch that or you can catch the next live stream um, the schedule is on my Twitch channel, and I will be starting a game called Spirit Fair. I'm really excited. It's kind of about this, this, you're the main character, this person, and you kind of just deal with these spirits who are passing on to the next world. It's like the in-between. At least from my understanding, I haven't played it yet, so I don't actually know everything about the game. So, um, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was informative. Um, I also, you know, every artist does things differently and I am in by, I am by no means the, the best artist out there or anything, so, um, if you like the techniques I show, that's awesome, you can definitely use them, but they're, these aren't the only techniques and they're not the best techniques either, so, um, it all comes down to personal preference and what you're trying to draw, because, you know, you could, you could follow my skin shading technique to a T, but if you're, you know, shading fur, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work the same, um, and it will probably not turn out exactly how you want it to. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, it would mean a lot if you subscribed. I work hard on these YouTube videos, so um, any kind of support is really awesome. And yeah, I will see everyone on the next video, which will be more.